Hi. How's it going? You taking a picture? Yeah. Why? Oh, I can do that too. Look. Hey. Well, I got a net and a cooler and and Victoria. She's actually older than me. I'm just little. Look at me. Basically, me and Nate rescued goldfish from here a long time ago. Look, they're under the drain, too. They're inside the drain. How do you get those? You know? <laughs> the video did fantastic, also. Of course, we definitely couldn't get all of them because they went down in, like, to the crates. Like, where it actually filters the pond. So, I don't know if they repopulated, if there's any more, or there definitely should be because we didn't get all of them. So, we're going to go get them together. And there she is, boys and girls. Okay, grab the bag. Got it. No, 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 no. YouTube's going to demonetize me. All right, take this. Okay. We're gonna bring it down together. Whoa. Like so. <laughs> Alright, so we got a bag. We've got this. Put this here. We got a net. You take net. There's water in there. In there? What do you think I'll do? Just bring water? We're gonna have to take the water from the fountain. <laughs> okay, so uh, there's definitely fish. First time in my life I've been prepared. You're trying to catch them already? They already, you're going to jellyfish fields. <laughs> okay. Got one. Yeah, go get them. Look at her go, look at her go. Come on. Yeah, they're in there. You guys see them over there? Okay, so we'll put that in there. You out of breath? <laughs> they're fast. Take this. That way we have some water. <gasps> you just got so many. And there, okay. I don't know if you guys can see, but there's like a crate right here. And they definitely got scared of us when we came over. So it's, we gotta get them out of there. And there you go. Oh. oh my God, I'm sliding. <laughs> <laughs> you know what's terrible is when there's goldfish in here and people will soak the fountain. We get a bottle of soap and pour it in here. Oh, the fountain overflow of soap. All right, how many do we get? There's five in here right now. These are pretty big too. Oh, I see two of them. Kind like there was two like over there. All right, let's go back down and put these in. Hopefully, some come out while we're putting these in. So yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So like I said, they're they're hiding. They're strategic little fishies. Little do they know, they're gonna die if we don't take them out. Mr. Fishy, where are you hiding? That right there, ladies and gentlemen, is a, what is called a Karen. That is indeed a Karen. Hi, how's it going? You taking a picture? Yeah. Why? Oh, I can do that too. Look. If someone soaps the fountain, all of them are gonna die. So yeah, I, that's a, I just filmed it in my video that people soap the fountain so they'll die. Yeah, don't worry, I don't wanna. That's the last thing I want to happen. What the f? You see that lady? She was like, I thought you were soaping the fountain. And I was like, no, you can come over here. We're rescuing fish. I was like, we literally just filmed talking about how they'll die if someone soaps the fountain. And then she was really nice to me when she found out I wasn't soaping the fountain. I can't be mad at her. That 110% makes sense. She's, well, she's watching out for the community, making sure the fountains don't get soaped, which is what I was trying to do too. I was just trying to make sure the fish don't die if the fountain gets soaked. Okay, cool. So we're gonna take these back to my house, drop them off in the pond. And I gotta show you guys something else that happened today, which is crazy. Uh... Okay, so yeah, it may only be five, but well, at least we're not gonna die via soap injection, which is good. So we're gonna take them out, put them in here because they've got hundreds of little buddies. I only see 40. You only see 40? It's because 50 of them are back behind this rock. Come out, little guys. Yeah, they're literally all up behind in there. And then the rest are out. All you gotta do, grab it like that and let it go. You gotta do it again. We have a net for a reason. We have, okay. <laughs> all right, and the water temperatures are literally the same. They're both outdoors. He's gonna float. Don't throw them. You gotta, you gotta set them in. There you go. Okay. There we go. Okay, considering you guys didn't get to see us rescue a lot of things, here's some footage of me and Nate rescuing like a ton of fish from there. What's up? There's some there, some right there. Another dead one. There's another dead one there. Another dead Look at this thing. Look, there's, there's a fair amount of goldfish though, Nate. Oh no, there's a school over there. That's like 30 goldfish right there. They're kind of swimming around. Look, they're under the drain too. They're inside the drain. How do you get those? You know? Dude, they're inside the drain. Look at the school over there. All right, get them before they go into the drain. All right, we're gonna try and get these out because obviously they're dying. There's dead ones all over the bank. All right, try and get them before they go into the drain, Nate. We're gonna roll, we're gonna roll a time lapse. Oh, that's a big one. That's a pretty goldfish. Get it, get it, get it. It's right there, right there, right there. Get it, get it. Nate, where'd it go? Got it. Oh, look, wait, show that to the camera. Oh God, please don't drop it back in the water. Okay. 
They, another one came out. Another one came out. No, it's going back under. No, no. Yeah, got another one. Woo! Put you in there. All right, little guys. So that might give you an idea of how many goldfish I've actually seen in there. Today, unfortunately, just a lot of them went under the crate, so we couldn't really get them out. Look at the size of those tiger barbs. I don't, well, you can't really tell, but like, they are massive. Every time. There he is. See him over there? It's Corey. I'm gonna let you pick four guppies. All right, two males and two females. Throw them on the frying pan. Guppies. If you guys didn't know, we did the DIY guppy breeding tank. Regardless of whether those babies are not, we're gonna put these in there too because I put a lot of females in last time and like two males. Now we've got two males and two females and these are some pretty colors to match the other ones. Two hours later. Well, we've arrived and I think everything in here is going pretty good. So the guppies are back there, but we've got this bag, so I'm gonna let this acclimate. Remember, this is like a DIY guppy breeding tank. If you guys don't remember though, our beta fish, there's one rescue, there's another, and we've got all the others down here. So that worked. If you didn't watch that video, it was pretty sick. All these colors on these ones are kind of similar to those. That way we can actually get some really nice ones. Okay, so I'm gonna pick this up and all of them should go in. There we go. See, those are nice. Those are perfect. Oh, I'm gonna sneeze. No one cares. What? Okay, but everything inside is doing good. Are you jumping? No. Oh. I got off. Everything inside is doing good, especially, well, especially the peacock bass. She gonna shake it. And all of these things are doing good too. Oh. oh, shiver me timbers. What's going on out here? What's up boys and girl? So what happened today was crazy. You may or may not have seen the Instagram stories. I'm not entirely sure. Hey there, Larry, what's going on? Oh, 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 okay, all right, you don't like that. All right, sorry. I'm not gonna lie, it's actually kind of, okay, all right. I was I was gonna say you're nice, but you're not. And if you come from behind and see, there we go, you like that. It was actually a pretty nice possum. I, I think it liked me. A little bit, not, not a lot, a little bit. But I don't know, I was playing with him for a minute. I guess, I don't know why, but both of his arms were broken. Well, it looks like he kind of likes me. He's hissing quite a bit, but he hasn't he hasn't bit me yet, so that's good. Hey, I could definitely tell his his left one was broken 110%. It was like his hand was snapped. You can see it. His right one looked the same way. I don't know why. I found him, played with him for a little bit, and then he crawled away. Things like that happen quite often. <laughs> I just normally don't film them, but I actually happen to have my phone with me, so I decided to take it out, record it, and yeah. Yeah, so me and a possum had quite a bit of fun together. And I almost brought him home to be y'all's friend, but you didn't seem very interested, Pickle Boots. Now, I do got to do some stuff tonight, which is a fence. So we're ripping this guy down. I know. I set her up. It took a little while. We're taking all the we're taking all the lights off and everything, We're running the fence from not this post, but that post across that way. <laughs> And from here down, and they're gonna meet. So the goats and all these animals are gonna have all the space out here. We're gonna have like freaking lights in the trees and everything. It's not like we don't already have security cameras throughout that tree. But we're taking all this down, and they're gonna have a massive enclosure, which means we're actually gonna get maybe more bunnies to have some bunnies enclosures out here. Maybe some swans, some other stuff. So drop some animal ideas in the comment section down below. Not like farm animals. I'd like to hear some like cool exotic stuff I could keep in Texas. Give me some ideas. Give me something crazy. Anything under five thousand dollars. Because some people send me like. Lion. And I'm not at the point in my life to afford a lion. Nor I don't think I could get a permit to keep one. Okay, and the rest of this goes in here. If you guys didn't watch the video where I introduced a massive snapping turtle into this pond. <laughs> oh, oh, ah! oh, see. <laughs> The same night I put him in, he actually left. So just so you guys know, I thought I thought you'd want to know so you didn't think he just died. He already left. Oh, never mind. Nope, he's right there. Yeah, he said, uh, screw you, I'm out of here. Yeah, but he's all good to go. With all that being said, though, hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. It was all over the place. Thank you to Victoria for helping me rescue some goldfish. If you guys want me to go rescue some more, like get the rest of them from under the crates, like actually get permission from the city to lift those crates up, which I'm sure would be no problem. Let me know, click the like button by showing me to do that or comment it down below. Follow me on Instagram at fanatic.media. Follow my TikTok, follow my Snapchat, follow everything, including me and Victoria's TikTok because we have a conjoined one too. It's in the link in the description. So with that being said, you guys can meet me and Victoria at the Dallas Galleria March 14th. Information on that's also in the link in the description. And if you want to buy any Fanatic merchandise, 10% goes to St. Jude until late March. So other than that, I'm done promoting. Hopefully you guys enjoyed and I'll catch you next time on the next episode of Fanatic. Peace.